Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Big welcome if you're new. This is a total beginner yin class. We're just gonna do one yin posture in this class, but it's actually one of the most potent, powerful, healing uh, yin postures of them all, and it's one of my personal favorites. What it is is a yin style forward fold. And if you've never done yin yoga before, the key thing that I want you to know is that yin is about relaxing any effort. So there's no goal to touch our feet. There's no goal to really achieve anything other than just succumb to gravity. So you don't need to be warmed up. You don't need any special props. You don't even need a yoga mat. How we're gonna do this is I'm just gonna ask you to extend your legs in front of you and just let them be limp. Like I think of my legs just like dead fish here. They don't need to be active or flexed. Um, however you wanna sit is, is great. And if you wanna put some pillows, like run to your bedroom and get some pillows to put under your booty if you're not so comfortable sitting on the ground or you notice you're kind of leaning back, get some pillows or use your couch cushion and put it under your seat so you're gonna be able to tip forward with a little more ease. And then from here, visualize that you're a puppet that someone just put down. That's how I like to really do it, visualize it. And you're just gonna dip the chin into the chest and round forward. And your palm should be about at the level of your knees so there's no effort to reach for the feet. You dip the chin into the chest and you should begin to feel a stretch somewhere along the spine. Now it's gonna be different for everyone where they're gonna feel the stretch. So you might be feeling, once you uh, fold into this position, a stretch in the back of the neck, or um, between the shoulder blades, or in the low back, or even down into the hips. It's completely different and whatever you're feeling is okay. It's gonna change the more you practice yin yoga and the more you come back to this pose. So there's no right or wrong. For me, it feels a little bit different every day and I've been doing this for 10 years. So fidget now, move around, because one of the key principles of yin is that we wanna be still. So I think it's good to kind of fidget and see where you wanna be here, see if you need some extra props, get any movement like nervous energy out of your body now. So if you need to adjust your pants or your um, you know, tank top strap or anything like that, do that all now. And then find complete stillness. The key to this posture is to think of the head being as heavy as a bowling ball and really letting the chin dip into your chest. So, so often I see students doing it and their head is kind of still engaged. I want your head to be dead weight. So you're really gazing in at yourself. The chin into the chest is extreme. So the spine is in extreme flexion, meaning it's very rounded. And now begin to deepen your breath. So take a huge breath in through the nose and out through the nose or mouth. Two more like that, huge breath in and out. Long, slow inhale and exhale. Relax the jaw and face. Relax the legs. Just let the head get heavier and heavier. Dip the chin deeper and deeper into the chest. See if you can get underneath your chin to almost make contact with your chest. So you're rounding that much. Deep breaths in and out.
so much of our life is spent in an act of doing and achieving. So let this pose just fully be about being and receiving. Being still. Receiving the weight of gravity. And if you're someone who's worried about your posture and you think it's potentially bad to be kind of slumped forward like this, nothing could be further from the truth. In order to help hydrate and unwind the myofascial backline of the body, we need to create some traction. We can't just back bend, back bend, back bend. We need to soften the interconnective tissue. And this is the perfect way to do that. So you'll find that even if you think you hunch over a lot doing a pose like this, as long as you're feeling a stretch, a gentle stretch somewhere along the spine, you're going to have better posture and feel even taller when we eventually come up out of this. Keep surrendering for now. be here about another two minutes in silence and yin is a lot about kind of what comes up what floats to the surface for you when you're in a quiet receptive position like this Without moving or trying to change the posture yet in any way, just deepen the breath. Just accentuating those deep inhales and exhales, slowing the breath down even more. Keeping the head and the upper body heavy, just flip the palms over so that the palms press into the ground. And with the head heavy, it'll be the last thing to come up. Just walk your hands back towards your hips, slowly stacking vertebra on vertebra as you come up to sit. Let the head be the last thing to come up. And then draw one leg and then the other leg in, just coming to a seated position and just observe how you feel. Just thinking back to 10 minutes ago when you began this practice compared to how you feel right now. Close the eyes and just scan inside. Just know whatever experience you had in class today that it's okay. Gently bring
bring the palms to touch, gently rub the palms. And bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And exhaling the sense of gratitude for trying something new, for making it to your mat today. Blink your eyes open as you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me for this short practice. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you.